My name is Daryl Dean Blatchley. I'm an alumni from Bangkok Patna School from 1991 to 1994. In 2012, my wife and I opened the Bone Collector Museum here in Davao City. It's an environmental awareness education museum that highlights not only the animals from before, such as dinosaurs, but also the animals that we have now in the world and why we're losing them. Everything from hunter's trophies, which are part of conservation, two saltwater crocodiles which are greatly feared by people that live along the oceans. Now, unfortunately with the work that I do here, I don't always get to work with live animals to be able to study their behavior. With this whale right here, I was able to work with her for five hours. She ended up dying because of plastic garbage inside of her stomach. The worst thing is, she was pregnant. Now even down to education on how sharks play an important role in the ecosystem. This is a display case highlighting the different Philippine wildlife found throughout the Philippines, but every time they build a subdivision, they're wiped out. Now, the cool thing is with the museum, you get to meet a lot of cool people, and sometimes you even get an award from the president of the Philippines. Now, as we head upstairs, this museum is three floors. It has a hundred, wait, yeah, it's three floors, has 750 square meters of display, and over 6,000 specimens. Everything from all different kinds of dogs, as you see in the middle, a marine section, even to different kinds of crocodiles and alligators. Now, as we're heading through here, it's going to get dark because we're going through a cave. A cave inside the museum. Everything from Ice Age animals, from mammoth bones, to even how prehistoric people were buried in caves. Now, the cool thing about this museum is there's lots of different kinds of stuff. And so it's the same as the way Bangkok Patna raised my awareness when I was growing up of how to learn about things. It's more than just learning about it in a book. It's, sorry, horns. It's the hands-on education to be able to show you what that thing is and to be able to hold it and feel it. Now, these are different animals from all over the world. And yet with each one, they have a story. So less video of me and I'll give you a quick run through of the museum jungle animals. Tiger attacking a Philippine brown deer. Now, did you know the tiger will never attack a Philippine brown deer in the wild? Do you know why? Because there's no tigers in the wild in the Philippines. Syrian brown bear. This guy is super, super tall. And to an American black bear, a cassowary, and even the nest of a crocodile. Shows how the eggs are laid in the nest. This one is called a sailfin lizard. They can actually run on the water. Down to African animals and even insects. Now, we're getting ready to go through the jaw of a megalodon shark. Where do sharks live? That's right, in the ocean. So now we're heading up to our ocean section. This is a 41 foot long female sperm whale. Now, everything that we have here in the museum, we don't go out and kill these animals to put them in the museum. But in the case of like this one right here, this is a Blainsville beat whale. And she died because of plastic garbage. Now, with this video, we're showing you part of what this museum is, but you as students can make the change for your country and the places that you live. Sorry, make a little bit of sharks. They gotta admit they're cool. Even down to one of the rarest ones is a mega mouth shark. Now, with what you do around you in the countries that you're placed at, you have the opportunity, the fact alone that you're going to Bangkok Padna means that you're a step above a lot of the rest of the country. So the chances that you're given in life, don't waste it. You can change not only your country, but the planet for a good thing or a bad thing. The choice is down to you. How you take the opportunities given to you in life to make the change. You can make this place great or you can continue to destroy it. It's all down to you. As we show everybody in the museum, the final part of our tour, is this. It's a human skeleton surrounded by clocks and she's looking at her watch because her time ran out. The same as with this video, time's up. 
what you do with your time is very, very important. My name is Uncle D, and thank you for visiting my museum.